Okay, folks, here we go for uh, 26 minutes of a whole body workout. Get your dumbbells ready. We're going to start with bicep curls and shoulder presses. Be about the same weight for each of them. Okay, so right, bicep curls. You've got 12 of these. Let's bang these out. Remember, get those arms nice and straight at the bottom of the movement. Don't just do little pulses. Get the whole movement. Arms right to the straight. So whilst the weights are down, yeah, those arms are straight. No rocking, as little rocking as possible. Yeah, that's it. It's got to be challenging. It's got to be hard. Okay, right, whether you've done 12 or not, drop them down and then straight, no, straight into the shoulder presses. Bang those out. So 12 of those. Nice straight back. If you're standing up, nice straight back. You can do these sat down as well. That's it, keep that belly button stuck in, pulled in. Okay, good stuff. Set one done. Have a rest, 30 second rest, then we go again. Okay, so yeah, change weights if you need to uh, make them heavier or lighter. You'll, you'll have sussed it out after the first one. Got to be challenging though. If you're just starting off, usually the biceps and shoulders are similar strength with shoulder press and bicep curls. Okay, right, here we go then. Bicep curls, get your weights ready. Off we go. So yeah, 12 reps or um, whatever you can get in in the time that I'm doing them there. So 12 reps at good speed, not too fast. No rocking the body. Get those arms straight at the bottom, the full movement. Yeah, that's good. 12 reps. Okay, good stuff. Right, are you about there? Good stuff. Right, okay, straight to shoulder presses. Don't have to put them on the floor like I have. Yeah, shoulder presses, bang them out. 12 of those. No leaning back. Keep those hips back. Pull your belly button in. That's it, nice straight arms above your head. Okay, good stuff. Two sets done, one set to go, and then we move on. Yeah, take your time, so another 23 seconds left to rest, 20 seconds to go. And we've got the final set, and then we move on to the next circuit. Okay, yeah, so we'll uh, finish this resistance circuit and then we'll move on to a bit of cardio stuff, a bit of a mixture. Okay, off we go, bicep curls, last lot of biceps. Keep the form, even as you get more tired, keep the form, it's quite important. No rocking, keep your body nice and straight, nice and still. Straight arms at the bottom still, get the full movement, full movement, it's quite important. That's easy to do little movements on this. Do the full movement, 12 of those or till I've finished. Yes, go on, last few, nice one. Okay, shoulder presses, straight in with them. You don't have to wait for me. Bang out those shoulder presses and then you've got a bit of a break coming up before the next circuit. That's it, nice straight body. Pull them below your ears and then right up. Nice straight arms at the top. Okay, good stuff. Right, biceps and shoulders done. Right, coming up next. Yeah, get rid of your dumbbells. You don't need them for the moment, but you need a chair or a step of any kind. You could use your staircase, whatever. Um, a chair is quite a big step, so uh, you might feel you're not at that stage yet, which is fine. Just You're just going to have to pause it and find a smaller step. Um, but uh, it's got to be... High enough for it to be for you to be working hard. This is going to get your heart rate up. Hopefully, that's what it's all about. Are you ready? We're going then in three, two, one. Off we go then. So yeah, ten steps on each leg, all the way up. Not just little things. Yeah, get that body almost straight at the top. Go all the way up. Get those legs straight at the top as well. Get a good rhythm going. So ten on one leg. Stay on that same leg. We'll just do one then the other leg. Okay, good stuff. Right, turn on the other leg. Off you go. Yes, get a good rhythm going. Fair speed. Uh, 
that's it. If it's tiring, uh, if you're feeling it in your legs, that's only a good thing. You rest your legs in a minute whilst you do these dips. Okay, so dips it is next then. Okay, using that step or chair then. Important thing is here, keep your back really close to the step and get plenty of bend in those elbows. Don't just rock your body forward. You should be getting about 90 degree bend in those elbows. Back always close to the step. Yeah, nice. Right, okay, good stuff. Rest. First set done. Two to go. Plenty of rest for this one. And then we're going to go again with your step up. So, yeah, if the step was too small, find a bigger chair. If the step was too big, just find something else. Use your staircase or something. Okay, right, we're going 15. Okay, good stuff there. We're going in five. You ready? Three, two, one. Off you go then. Ten steps on one leg, and then we move on to the other. If your heart rate's not up, you need to go faster. Or you need to get a bigger step. You need to be getting that heart rate up. It's really important, that. Nice, one leg done. Other leg, you ready? Go for it. We'll see if you can get more than 10 in the same time I'm doing it. If you can't quite get 10 in, no worries. Just uh, just stop when I've done. And if you can't get 10 in, it's pretty good. It shows you're working hard. You're, you're finding it hard, but you've got to push yourself as hard as you can. That's it, go for it, go for it. 10 on each leg then. Okay, good stuff. Right, into the dips again. So depending on how hard you want to make it, how far you move your legs out. I've got my legs quite close there. I've made it easy for myself or easier. It should always be hard. Uh, back nice and close to the step. Keep that back. Back. Yes, good stuff. Okay, right, two sets done. One to go. Okay, doing all right here, folks. You're almost a third of the way through the workout already. Okay, yeah, last rest in this circuit then. Last set coming up in 15 seconds. Okay, ready? fast as you can on these steps then really go for it no more of these after this three two one you're off if you can get more than 10 in great go for it just go as fast as you can change when i change okay good stuff this is good very good well done one leg done, next leg, off we go. Last set this, nice and fast, get that rhythm, keep that rhythm going. Yes, good stuff, all steps done then. No more steps, okay, right, dips, last dips. Make them hard for yourself, make them hard, plenty of bend in those elbows. If it's too easy, get those legs a bit straighter, but keep your back close to the step. So 10 of those. Yeah, fantastic, they work the back of your arms, how good those are. Okay, one arm rows and chest press together. Okay, so you can see, uh, it's quite important, I'm doing the one arm row there, that's what you're doing first. See how straight my back is, it's quite important that, so you've got to find a good position. Um, and no rocking the torso, so you're not twisting your torso much, you're just using your upper back muscles and biceps, the main muscle groups being used here. So you ready? Get in the position, three, two, one, we're off. So 12 on each arm, or stop when you've got to where I stop when you swap when, when I'm swapping. OK, 
Good stuff. And then on the other side, so you, um, yeah, that chair or whatever, armrest or whatever you want to use, table, just helps take the strain off your lower back so you can keep your back straight when you're doing these so you can concentrate on the specific exercise. Okay, as you see, chest press coming up. Okay, so yeah, grab both your dumbbells lying on the floor. 12 of those. So yeah, elbows right down to the floor. It's not quite enough movement when you do it on the floor, but it's good enough. You're still using your chest muscles here. Yeah, careful not to let your elbows bang. Okay, good stuff. Right up, you jump then. Yeah, you got no rest between these, so it's straight on one, then the other. You're going to have to move fast from the floor to the chair. Right, off you go then. Bang them out. 12 on each arm or whatever you can get in the same time. Okay, good stuff. Other arm. Nice straight back, get a good posture, that's it. No rocking, no swinging. 12 or whatever you can get. Yeah, and get that elbow really high above your back. Try and get loads of movement in this. Okay, good stuff. Right down onto the floor, chest press, coming up. Okay, yeah, bang them out. Now you need to be finding a weight that's pretty hard here for both of these exercises. If they're, if it's too easy, you need to uh, adjust your dumbbells for next time. You need, need to be you need to be able to feel these muscles working pretty hard. Okay, good stuff. Right, chest for that set done. Last set coming up. One arm rows. Keep that form good. That's it, nice straight back, almost feels like you're sticking your bum out a bit, get that back nice and straight. Feel like a gorilla stance. So 12 on each arm, last lot of 12 for your upper back and bicep muscles here on your left side. Okay, right, other side, off we go. Okay, good stuff. Are you ready to get down to the floor quick? Ready, down to the floor, straight away. Grab your dumbbells and you're off. 12 of them. Good stuff, right, that's three sets of uh, back and uh, chest done. Okay, right, jump rope coming up next. Eight seconds of skipping, 20 seconds off. Doesn't matter if you haven't got a rope yet, uh, you just mimic the movement. So you're hopping on your two feet together whilst uh, swinging your wrists around. Um, it's all good, that'll get your heart rate up. And don't worry about bodging up. If you make a mistake, that's fine. It'll all, it's all good, it's all part of it. Okay, we're going in five, three, okay, two, thirty one, seconds. five sets of it. Three, two, one, off you go. And if you haven't got a skipping rope, you can just mimic. You just mimic the movement. Twelve, eleven, ten. Keep going, keep that pace going nice and fast. Three, two, one, good stuff. Right, resting. Rest for 20. One set in the bag. Okay, three, two, one, off we go then. 30 seconds, bang them out. Twenty left.
five, four, three, two, one. Well done, good stuff. Resting for 20. Two sets done, three to go. Okay, ready folks, off we go. Number three, set number three. Bang them out, 30 seconds, you're off. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter if you keep catching your feet or you don't get it right yet, you just gotta stick with it. It won't take long to get, you'll quickly improve with skipping jump rope if, if you keep doing it. Okay, another 10 seconds, it's all good, it's all good, even if you bodge up, it's fine. It's all part of it. Five, four, Two, one, yeah, well done, well done, well done. Rest. Three done, two to go. Okay, here we go then, well done folks. Set number four coming up. 30 seconds, nice and fast. Three, Two, one, off you go. That's it, get that rhythm going. Just bouncing on your toes, on the balls of your feet. Okay, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one on. Rest, last set coming up. If you don't need this rest here, you might not need to think about going on to level two. But anyway, keep going for the end of this. Okay, right, last set coming up. Let's nail these fast as you can. Nice rhythm, off you go. Get that heart rate nice and high. We'll go for it. Good stuff, halfway on that one. Another 10. Yes, well done folks. Okay, right, jump rope done and dusted. Nice one, five sets done. Squats next in, argu arguably the best exercise in the book. Uh, they're so versatile and they're so functional and they use so many different body parts and they get your ticker up. There's loads of uh, plus points for the squat. Okay, right. It's important though to get the right technique. See so, yeah, how my back is straight there and my knees aren't going over my toes. Um, and I'm trying to keep my chest up as much as possible. So try and think about all those things. I'll talk you through it as we go. So bang them out, you've got 15 seconds of them. Get them nice and fast, right to the upright. Keep those hips forward when you go to the upright. All the weight should be going through your heels. Bang them out nice and fast. Yeah, good stuff. So yeah, have a rest, 20 second rest. So if you're at the bottom of the squat position, when you're doing the squats, uh, you should be able to lift your toes up slightly when doing an air squat. I'm not saying you should keep your toes up all the time when you're doing it, but all the weight should be going through your heels. You shouldn't be rocking forward onto the balls of your feet, onto the front of your feet. Have another go, then off you go. Get those hips nice and low as well. Keep that chest up all the time. Back nice and straight. Use your arms to balance if you need to, like I am. All the weight going through your heels and keep those knees behind your toes. Don't let those knees go really far forward so you're rolling forward on your feet. But that's it. Two done already. Another 15 seconds of them. It's not long 15 seconds, so make sure you do them nice and fast. Okay, another 11, 10 seconds rest. Then you're going to go again. Keep them fast, remember. Okay, last lot. Make them good then. All the way through your heels, nice and fast, down and up, down and up. Try and get your hips down to the about height of your knees. If you can, don't worry if you can't. Whilst keeping good form, it's all about the form with a squat. Don't let those knees come together either. Keep your knees out all the time. Yeah, well done. 
three rapid sets of uh, squats done. Okay, so coming up, you've got your high knee marches. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds, 20 seconds rest. Another way to keep your heart rate up. Um, and at this level, we're going to just stick with the high knee marches. And level two, you'll be doing a running on the spot, high knee sprints, that kind of stuff. But for the moment, we'll just do the high knee marches, get your, your muscles conditioned and ready for the level two. Okay, are you ready then? 30 seconds on the spot, nice high knees. That's the important thing. Get those knees right up. Try and get your knees up to hip height. March your arms out as well fast as you can basically keep it marching though nice and fast hopefully that's getting your heart rate up it needs to be getting your heart rate up that's what it's all about another seven seconds then you've got a breather two one good stuff okay 20 second rest how long to go now folks just the last few minutes bit of core stuff and then you're done Okay, number two, set number two of the high knee marches. Are you ready? Three, two, one, off we go. Bang them out, march it out. Nice and fast, get those knees right up. See how high you can get your heart rate doing that. Pump it, pump it, that's it. Nice and fast, go for it, go for it, go for it. Another 10 seconds, nine, eight. Yes, good stuff. Okay, two sets done, one to go. This is good. Last of the cardio coming up in 12 seconds then, your last high knee marches. So going in five. Three, two, one. Okay, off we go. Bang them out, march them out nice and fast. Well, last 20 seconds of these. Go on, push them out. Push it, push it, push it. Nice and fast. Pump those arms as well as those legs. Get those knees up, knees up. Okay, last five. Yeah, good stuff. Well, I'm resting now. Okay, you've got the floor stuff coming up to finish. A bit of core stuff. Might need a mat or a cushion or a carpet or something. So these will be pretty bog standard crunches. Don't feel you have to come up really far with these. Don't keep a nice smooth movement of lifting your uh, your shoulders and your upper back off the floor. So you, your lower back will stay on the floor all the time. Nice and smooth. Don't feel you have to come up really far. Don't jerk it up. Just roll the spine up one by one vertebra by vertebra 15 of those it only takes tiny little movements to engage the abs so it's fine you'll be doing a good thing hopefully they're starting to burn keep pushing it right to the end and then have a rest okay you got a bit of a breather and then do the same again if it's too hard maybe drop your feet to the floor and if it's too easy uh, you might need to uh, look at doing level two, which you can uh, update in your profile area. Okay, number set number two, off you go. Bang them out, 15 of them. Okay, yeah, good stuff. Bang them out, get to 15. Hope that's burning your abs. Okay, last rest, and then you've got your last set of ab crunches coming up. Okay, you ready folks? Last lot, 15. Three, two, one, off you go then, bang them out. We'll squeeze those abs together. Getting, it's all about getting your sternum, your chest, down towards your pelvis, plenty of bend in the back. Squeeze those abs. 
Yeah, good stuff. Well done. Three sets nailed. Almost there now, folks. Right, this is a good one. Uh, it's a static position. You've got to sit with your hands holding onto your knees and then lower your um, shoulders back. So your back's not on the floor at all here. Your lower back is not on the floor. So leaning back, that's it. And then don't let your shoulders move up or down and raising your hands right above your head and then down to the floor. If it's too hard, sit, sit up a little bit. And if it's too easy, you go a little bit further back. And you shouldn't be feeling this in your back. Most people don't. Hopefully you don't. But if you do, you might want to uh, either sit up more. But you should be totally feeling that in your abs. They should be burning when you're doing that. Okay, good stuff. So we've just got one lot of those. And now you've got the plank for 30 seconds. If you can hold it for 30 seconds, you've done well after doing all that lot for a beginner okay off you go it's easy to cheat on the plank by lifting your hips right up into the air so you're sticking your bum right up try and keep your i mean that's why it's called the plank obviously because your body's in that sort of plank position keep those hips down in line with your ankles and in between your ankles and your shoulders and just hold it how hard can that be all you're doing is staying still You've almost done your 30 seconds, which is fantastic if you've done that. Yes, good stuff. Well done. Workout complete. You nailed it. Absolutely brilliant. 